yon foe is drawn to light. We ought to extinguish our lanterns, lest we summon it unwittingly. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. We are none of us alike in vocation. That is most fortuitous. I see it as a glad thing. We are well poised to supplement each other's strengths.
lost without you, Arisen. What could yon chest be hiding? I must know. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. We have found a material. Different? Different combinations of materials result in different creations. How tranquil. Tis best to leave harmless creatures be. Such a magnificent tapestry of stars. That's just what I was thinking. Is it in the hand, Master? We have no need for exploiting our enemies. Against this bow, lest we sup on bitter defeat. True enough. <laughs> Fear not, Master. Naught shall befall you while I am here. What luck! 
tis a chest. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. I see our goal has changed. I would not presume to direct our course, but do let me know if you require a guide. Perhaps the originals recalled some more pressing business. Fret not. I'm sure we'll come back to this eventually. Useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? I've just had a thought. Curious thing. One of my former masters chose to hire only women. I wonder why. You've given me much to think about. Understood. I shall proceed ahead. I have a modest talent for spotting materials that can be used to enhance your equipment. I'd wager there's ought to be found here.
ought to take a closer look. Do watch where you're going. You'll hurt yourself one of these days. Oh, don't mind me. These things happen. ourselves a pat on the back we mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent take each trial as it comes Oh, yeah, it's... 
protection. <laughs> Common reward. Frustratingly so. Wolves draw here! Shame I've no advantage against this bow. Are we all in the same boat? <laughs> I knew that I could count upon your strength. What's going on? How did I get here? I remember. The wolves. How is it I'm still alive? You saved me. Didn't you, sir? I... I can hardly believe it. Thank you. I would not be standing here without you. How did you know where I was? Did Grandfather request your help? I suppose he must be worried sick about me. If it's all the same to you, sir, I think I'd like to go home now. Shall we be off? We've a report to make. Master, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep going without rest. I fear for our chances if we were to be set upon now. The ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. How might we approach yon spire? Climbing it would grant a clearer picture of our environs.
Would you mind coming over here? They are endearing creatures, compared to the monsters we oft face. Let us deliver the lad to Sir Morris forthwith. I believe I can guide you to the person in question. Are generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Wait to find out what's inside. We have arrived. Need anything? Stop by again soon. Rog? Rog? Is that you, my boy? Hello, Grandfather. Tis a miracle! You're alive and in one piece! Oh, joy of joys! I thought ne'er to lay eyes on you again. Father, you're smothering me. Oh, hush. You don't get to complain of such things after you worried me half to death. I'm very sorry, Grandfather. I didn't mean to cause you grief. And you? Words alone will ne'er be enough to express the depth of my gratitude. I am truly in your debt. Pray, take this. Tis naught but a trifle in comparison to your kindness. But I hope you will accept it all the same. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. Huzzah! You done it! Well done, everyone. What will our next adventure have in store for us, I wonder? Shall we see how Har Village fares of late, Master? Then follow me. I'll lead the way. The vanguard is yours. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy. The item you requested is complete. Here you are, sir. Use it well. Ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well.
I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is many thanks to you. Follow me, if you would. Might we consider boarding an ox cart? I don't know about you, but my legs are stiff as balls. A most agreeable suggestion. Of course, the Arisen shall have the final... Greeting! We see a great many customers, given our location, so... Impressive! Looking to get an entry to Murden's Manor, are you? <laughs> Good luck. First, he'll sweep you a look from head to toe. Then he'll ask that how you present yourself when visiting someone and slam the door in your face. That ponce. You'd think he'd know not to expect noble manners from us common folk. Pray, follow me. Greeting. We see a great many customers, given our location, so you'll have to forgive us if the ale runs dry. Many thanks. Welcome, if you think me a liar, then but the creation of a masterpiece to many thanks to you. Reckon your trade towns can make you right sick of crowds, but here, at least, you... Ah, how I've longed to embrace... Good morrow, everyone. Off we go, then. Feeling rested, I trust? Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then the creation of a masterpiece takes times. Many thanks to you. Welcome. If you think me a liar, then but the creation of a masterpiece takes time. Hope to see you again. Welcome. If you think me a liar, then buy the item you requested is complete. Here you are, sir. Use many thanks to you. A forgery? I wonder whether we'll find a purpose for it. It is certainly identical to the original. I dare say any. So, how goes it? 
Did you manage to retrieve the Jadeite Orb? Ah, splendid. You've my thanks. Before we discuss your reward, however, there is one final matter to which we must attend. You see, in my line of work, trust is paramount. And so we shall go to verify the orb's authenticity together. Come, I trust old Ibrahim's eye most of all. Let us pay a visit to his little scrap store. Follow my lead. Stay here forever if I could. Well then, son, how might I be of service? Good day, Ibrahim. Would you be so kind as to examine this jadeite orb? Now, I have a bit of business to attend to while he performs his appraisal. I ask that you await my return here. What is it? The appraisal's not yet done, and I must needs concentrate. What's this for, then? That shan't get you anywhere, I'm afraid. Sir Everard's paid me quite a sum to handle this appraisal, I don't mind telling you. You're a persistent one, aren't you? Gold, all well and good, but I shan't risk my business for a full pocket. I've my future to think of. Heavens fend! That's more than I can refuse. Very well, I'll do as you bid, but I shan't be making a habit of this. He ought to be finished by now. Come, let us go see. You have done your title proud, Arisen. This jadeite orb is indeed the genuine article. My partners shall be most relieved to hear of its return. You have certainly earned your reward. I trust you will find it satisfactory, and I do hope you will permit me to call upon you again, should aught arise. True to his words, Sir Everard has paid us handsomely for the orb, and plentiful coin is always welcome on our journey. Well said. I've got wares of every ilk. Pleasure doing business with you. It takes two to make a sale, and this seller had nothing to tempt us with. Our funds are better spent elsewhere. Could it be yours before? If I cannot dissuade you from pressing onward, There you are! Pray, tell me, have you found the Jadeite Orb? Oh, thank you, thank you! Now my freedom is assured. Pray, take this. A note isn't much, but I've naught else to offer. Right, I'd best get going. Sir, though we may ne'er meet again, know that I shall remember this kindness as long as I live. Farewell. I fear we have done Sir Offal an unkindness. May he find the strength to weather his troubles. I do wish we'd had fairer tidings to share.
What must needs be done? Fine. Out of the car, all I'm of you. I'm unsure how best to proceed. It is hard to imagine a world empty of monsters. May have to buy myself a new suit. What to do? Apologies, but I can't offer you a ride, sir. Riding in an ox cart would be a welcome reprieve. Fewer monsters are to be found on the main road, though carts travel only by the sun's light. This ox cart's bound for Vernworth. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Uncommon. There's a worthy prize. If only it weren't so far away. Hi. Faring well, I hope. Would you care to join me? I'd not say no to a bit of company. I was hoping you'd say that. Do you know, I had a feeling we'd meet here today. Intuition, I suppose. Say, you're not from round here, are you? Are you a traveler? Have you seen many places? How I envy you. This city is all I know. I long to learn more of the outside world, but Mother won't allow it. She's always telling me how dangerous it is beyond the palace walls. But that only makes me question her judgment all the more. After all, if the world truly is so perilous, what of the lives of our people? They must be fraught with uncertainty, subject to harsh conditions. It seems unfair that I alone should be shielded from that reality. But listen to me waffling on. <laughs> ah, I almost forgot. Here, I brought more of the money I owe you. I should have the remainder ready by our next meeting. My apologies, friend, but I'd best be going. I mustn't let Mother find out I left the palace. Thank you for indulging me. I, I do hope we'll see each other anon. Till then, farewell. Oh, what does this say? It couldn't hurt to take a peek. And should my story entertain you? On me to this ox cart's bound for me. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Just... 
one more push or to bring it down. Focused attack will end this foe. Of that battle for some time yet. You're in traversing other worlds, I came to know of a treasure chest in this area. Perchance you'd like to see it. Here already? Travelling by ox cart was a welcome change. Mayhap we can employ a cart for our next journey. I would have preferred not to have it quite so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. You must not let down our guard. Master. I will be with you in but a moment. You'll like to grow over... Another statue. Walk within me yearns to climb it. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. Get routed.
This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? service to the Arisen. Oh, I like that. We've been traveling together for some time now, haven't we? Well, would that we could continue our journey together forevermore. But a time may come when we must part.
So I've seen this exact scene play out before. What is the matter with you? We are under attack. <laughs> A decent spot to make camp. Assuming there are no monsters about. Let us keep this place in mind for the night. I can do for you. Hmm? I have things to... I fear I've naught useful to share. I fear I've naught useful to share. I fear I've naught... Sets me to thinking this place. <laughs> hmm? Have you brought me a grimoire, sir? Thank you for all the grimoires, sir. Is that the last of them you'll be bringing? Then you have my gratitude for all you've done. Would that I had a reward for you. But I'm afraid I've little gold of my own. Oh, mayhap this will suffice. Tis a ring my father gave me. Tis only fitting, really. Given he was the one who forbade my studies in the first place. Go on. Tis no cheap trinket. Now, I'd best take my leave of you. I've my studies to attend to. Miss Trisha was positively thrilled to receive those grimoires. May her studies prove fruitful. Hmm? I've things to do, if you don't mind. Now we can return to this location whenever we've a fairy stone to hand.
that went as well as we might have hoped. Let us cast our eyes about and analyze the situation. Sir Arisen, thank heavens you've come. Saurians have claimed the village yet again, if you can believe it, just when almost all of the villagers had arrived as well. Oh, why must these scaly fiends beset us so? Oi, what are you doing standing about when there's work to be done? Jonas, this is the good sir I spoke of, the one who called the Saurians for us. Is that right? Then I expect you to aid us with this mess, stranger. You did it once a four, eh? Only natural you'd help finish the job. My apologies for the Chief's temperament. Yet he speaks truly. We have need of your strength. Pray, calm the beasts as you did before. More Saurians. Their master, Saurians! World's most Saurians are no more, I see. That's twice you've come to our rescue now. You're more than a friend to Harv Village, Sir Arisen. You are a hero. Truly, we cannot th Here he is! I found our troublemaker! Jonas! What is the meaning of this? This blasted beastrin went and ventured into Stormwind Cave! How many times have we said none are to tread there? But he just had to poke his nose where it didn't belong. There can be no doubt, he's the one who incited the Saurians' attack. Forgive me. I never meant for any of this to happen. <laughs> Trust a beast to muck things up. Jonas! Surely there's no need for such talk. Yeah, you would say that, wouldn't you? Seems to me beastrins go causing problems, and we humans are lumped with the job of cleaning up after them. Jonas, please! You're being ridiculous. Fair! I do apologize. It would seem things have turned rather uncomfortable. But we mustn't let this sour your triumph. You came to our aid when we needed it most, and for that, you have our gratitude, Sir Arisen. I do hope you shall visit us again anon. I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. I'm not interested. <laughs> Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few.
Perhaps you've some work to offer me. No? <laughs> I've just remembered a curious rumor I overheard once. Seems there's an illness pawns can catch beyond the rift that has devastating consequences for those around them. Worse still, the pawn never knows they're sick. They just become restless. And flippant and won't heed the arisen. How terrible. We shall have to be alert for signs of the sickness among our number. I have not much to offer you, sir, I fear. Always sets you to think in this place. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us about. I have a modest talent for spotting materials that can be used to enhance your equipment. I can even mark them on your map. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. It will be an honor to serve by your side.
friend. Have any time for me today? I dare say we're overdue another talk. There's something I've come to understand during my stolen hours exploring these streets, and I wanted to share it with you. Every last resident in this city is wholeheartedly devoted to living out their lives. It seems a simple observation, I know, but to me, it was a revelation, for it made me painfully aware of my own position. Can this existence of mine even be called living when I am so doted upon by my mother? I want to live a life I can proudly call my own and to achieve it with all that my heart desires. I tire of enduring my mother's coddling and of having to mind every twitch in her face in order to appease her. Looking at this box, it fills me with courage. It is proof that I am not my mother's servant to be willed about as she pleases. It is something I obtained of my own will. Here is the last of the gold I owe you. Pray forgive me for making you wait for it. Now, I'd best be off. I may not be able to wander the city again for some time. There's aught I would do. Thus, I cannot say when next we'll see each other, though I feel sure we shall in time. Uh, perhaps sooner than we might think. <laughs> Till then, take care, friend. That was quite a gift. I hope that procuring it was not a burden upon the lad. I knew it to be so. Onward. Our work is not yet done. Shall I lead you to the location nearest here, Arisen? Welcome to Pure and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So many thanks. I appreciate it. Well met, How might I be of Welcome. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when.